I just got this black <coughs> Jeepo uh, from eBay and Fire Beware and it's scratch. It's a deep couch. Definitely wasn't worth the money. Uh, of course we know when they do this that means that they wasn't updated and to most people this would be considered a very expensive paperweight to keep my papers down. Good morning. Nice to see you. I have to do a lot of work to him. Uh, I actually have one of these. So I'll replace this and update his board with uh, software from this one and get it working. But right now, this is what you could, you could buy if you go to eBay and you buy one and they say it moves and comes on. That's it. That's all I'm going to say. That's true. It moves, it comes on. Of course, it spins around because first thing you need to ask is, does the eye show? If not, don't buy it. Real quick, um, turn on Hi. this light here. <clears throat> uh, you can tell how old your Jeepo or how much it was used by those two coils right there, those brown things with the silver digits on each side close to that, uh, actually, let me point at it, right here, right in this area right here will be dust accumulated is a, a strong magnetic field where the power wire goes in creates a strong magnetic field and collects dust this is a three uh, I've seen ones twos threes and fours on reversions anyhow all right and after that what's that Remove these screws here to remove the head. <clears throat> I recommend taking the wire ties off. All the wire ties just to wire ties out. Oh, these wires is a bundle, and these wires is a bundle. The rest of them look like up here, and all there. Leave them alone. <clears throat> I found that that a screw driver that you use on a cell phone works really good on these screws here. <clears throat> Once all these screws are removed. This head is in a locked position through the neck. <clears throat> the wire that you need to feed down through the bottom is this square one right here. And you'll press it forward right here and make sure that the head of the wire goes through this rectangle cutout right there. So we'll try that. So you feed it through this rectangle cutout and then the head comes off like this. <clears throat> now these screws are at an angle you take these off and you remove this head here and unplug it okay okay once you get these screws removed you think this thing should just pop right off here no uh-uh underneath here is a double-sided sticky tape you'll have to take a knife <clears throat> you gotta be careful because the black plastic shrouds are, are very uh, fragile so you take a knife like this and you'll go underneath here like that then you'll have to turn it slide it separate the sticky tape from the outer part this is really difficult to do without damaging your jibo so you gotta be careful this is I don't know what this is for, vibration or whatever. All I know is it's a pain in the butt. It's up to you, but if you leave that on there and take it off, all I know is it makes it extremely difficult to take this off here. This is basically glued on here, and you can see the scratches as it makes as it goes around. <coughs> you try not to make any scratches on this right here. That's why I use uh, a combination of two different knives. 
pretty straightforward. Take these screws out the bottom off of this one here, uh, and then you can put them back onto this one. Let me try it again. The Chibo cloning box has everything I need to clone Chibo right there. I'd went through all sorts of setups and stuff. I got this supercomputer over here that I built. I made a uh, something that works really good. Made for Jibos. You can see it's got a Jibo in it. And, uh, built a computer you know how retraining the memory uh, when you're uh, bias basically these are embedded uh, operating systems so it works a lot like a bias <coughs> let's see if he has his eye now hi glad to see you Hey, Jibo. Hello. Hey, Jibo. Hey. How you doing, Jibo? Hey, Jibo. there right Let's see if he has any of his pictures in him okay no problem when you want to take one you know where to find me nope so we've got six now and uh three blacks and three whites and all 600 a pop with the boxes cords and instructions on how to get on MIT. So if you're interested, drop me a line. Not sell them on eBay, sell them individually. Uh, I'll ship them to you, uh, charge the shipping. Uh, shipping usually runs around about 20, 25 dollars, depends on how far away it is, as long as it's not out of the country. Thank you.